Hi everyone, this is Callie. Thanks so much for being here with me today. I'm creating a Valentine shaker card using old and new Lawn Fawn products. We had some really fun beavers that were released in the Valentine's release, but I wanted to pull out these adorable skunks from last year's Valentine release and use them on today's card just to add a bit of old to our new products to create the card for today. So here's a look at the Scent with Love set as well as its add-on set. And I'm gonna be using two or three of the images from each of the sets so that we can complement the two sets and reintroduce them if you have not seen them before. And we're gonna create a cute little Valentine scene and it's gonna be super colorful with the background. So I didn't wanna to do too many images. So I am gonna quickly color these with some Copic markers. I'm using some cool grays and I'm applying the darkest shades first, adding a medium color, and then blending it all out with a light color. Now for the light areas of the skunks, I am gonna use some very light cool whites, or cool grays, sorry. I don't like to leave it white. And then we're gonna color the balloon and quickly color all the little accessory images like the cupcake and the flower and the rose stem. Very simple coloring, and if you're interested in the supplies or color combinations that I use, be sure to check out the coordinating blog post for this on my blog. I will be listing all of the color combinations and supplies for you. And after die cutting all of my colored images, I'm using a white gel highlight pen just to add a few little gel highlights to all of the images to give them some interest. Next up, we have the heart garden border, and I'm gonna die cut it in white cardstock and die cut some additional hearts as well. We're gonna ink blend first the entire piece of this garden border panel with some Mowed Lawn Distress Oxide ink. And I'm just gonna ink blend so that I can get the grass at the bottom and the heart garden border stems. And then we're gonna Copic color all the little die cut hearts that we die cut so that we can paste them over the top. Now you could have die cut these with some colored cardstock to make it a lot easier. I'm using some Copic markers so I can add some dimension to these hearts as well as use the same colors that I used on my previous images so that it's all a little bit more cohesive as far as the colors go. I used a trimmer to cut off the extra stem that was hanging off. Um, we have some leeway to work with because there's a quarter inch border on the sides of the heart garden backdrop frames that we have. So I just trimmed off about a quarter inch and we still have a lot of room where we can paste it to the background and everything will be hidden. It's not going to look chopped off. So for the background, I'm just going to work on the sky now. I'm using some peacock feathers as well as some cracked pistachio. I'm not going all the way to the bottom because we have that heart garden border panel that we're going to adhere right over this one. So I'm just blending the two colors together, um, going back and forth between the peacock feathers and the cracked pistachio until I'm happy with the blend. I'm using some liquid glue now to adhere my heart garden border to my background. And this is a chance for me to straighten all of those stems as they were a little bit bent during the ink blending process, which is totally fine. And now I'm gonna spray it with some droplets of water to give my background a little bit of interest. You probably can't see it too well in the video, but it does add a bit of interest. And then I can set my background aside so that we can work on our shaker frame. So here is the heart garland backdrop in the portrait orientation. I've die cut one panel, and I've die cut some more hearts out of white cardstock so that I can color again with some Copic markers. Like I said previously, you can use colored cardstock for this however you'd like to create your card. And I could have used my Copic markers to color the hearts that are directly on the frame, but I decided to do it this way because I could be a little bit messier and not have to worry about not coloring the, the, the banner strands, if that makes sense. So I am using, again, the same reds that I used on the images for the skunks, just to make everything flow and be a little bit more cohesive. So I have a shortcut here for stacking the frames. Instead of die cutting that heart garland backdrop a bunch of times and getting all these extra pieces, I decided to use the stitch rectangle frames to die cut five additional frames to stack up to create my shaker window. You're more than welcome to die cut this from the heart garland backdrop. You just need to snip off the heart garland at the very top on all of your panels. Or of course, using foam tape is also an option. 
So I've stacked all of my frames together and before adhering my heart garland backdrop panel, I'm gonna go ahead and adhere a layer of some acetate for my shaker window. I'm using some double-sided adhesive and once I've gone all the way around, I'm gonna peel off the backing and then I'll adhere my acetate window and then repeat with the double-sided adhesive and then secure my card front or shaker window with that heart garland backdrop. Now that my shaker window is complete, I can go ahead and add some adhesive to those hearts and then attach my red Copic colored hearts. On the very back of this, I'm gonna add more double-sided adhesive. You can also use liquid adhesive here if you'd like. It does attach well paper to paper. But before adhering it over my background, I'm gonna add some sequins and fun clay mixes. These are from Pretty Pink Posh. I've got the Love Letters clay mix as well as some sparkling clear confetti. And then once I'm happy with the amount that's in there, I'm gonna spread it out with my fingers because I want it to be just one layer of sequins and embellishments so that they don't get stuck underneath the window. And when I'm happy with that, I'll go ahead and attach my shaker window and then add some adhesive on the back of my images, put on the accessories like the little flower and the balloons, and then attach them to my shaker acetate frame. For more interest, again, I'm adding some white gel highlights all over those hearts on the streamers at the top of my card. And then I'm gonna emboss a sentiment from the Scent With Love add-on set. I'm gonna emboss that in white over black cardstock trim it down to size, and then attach it to my shaker window with some more double-sided adhesive. And that finishes my fun shaker card for today. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope it inspires you to recreate or create something similar. Thanks so much for stopping by and spending a part of your day with me. I hope you all have a great day. Bye, everyone. 